A new device could help reverse the effects of spinal damage, and the new technology is already helping one paralyzed man regain his, some of his mobility. Fox's Marianne Rafferty takes a closer look. A biking accident 12 years ago robbed Hertian Oscom of his mobility, damaging his spinal cord and leaving him with paralyzed legs. But thanks to groundbreaking research from scientists in Switzerland, Oscom is walking again. Within five to ten minutes, I could control my uh, uh, hips. Implants were placed on Oscom's brain and spinal cord. Now when he thinks about walking, the brain implant sends a message to a computer he wears in a backpack. The computer passes the electrical signal from the brain to the implant on his spine, allowing him to move his legs. A special headpiece keeps all the implants connected to the software in the backpack. To walk, the brain must send a command to the region of the spinal cord responsible for the control of movement. When there is a spinal cord injury, this communication is interrupted. Our idea was to re-establish this communication with a digital bridge, like an electronic communication between the brain and the region of the spinal cord that is still intact, that can control the leg movement. But even more remarkable, after about 40 sessions of rehab using the device, neurosurgeons say Oscom was able to start moving his legs and feet when the device was turned off. Suggesting that this digital bridge also promote the growth of new nerve connections. Using crutches, Oscom is now able to walk a short distance on his own. Researchers are recruiting more people to test their device and looking to use a similar technique to help restore movement to paralyzed arms. Marianne Rafferty, Fox News.